Hey everybody, welcome to Dope Stuff. Today we're going to make some dabs out of butane in this thing here. Grab your butane, stuff this full of weed. Grab your butane, stick it on top. And voila. Let it spray in there like that. Let it keep going. It's going to get ice cold. That's why I'm wearing a glove. As you can see over there on my uh, griddle, my heat plate, I have a screen, two bowls, my parchment paper. I have that on there because when I pour this into that, onto my parchment paper so I can degas it in the vessel over here. So it's still warm and so it'll still be evaporating off the uh, butane when I do it. Because after I get done doing these four bottles into about 60 grams of weed, it will take about four bottles of butane to get all the trichomes out of it. And here in a second, you'll start seeing it. It takes one whole bottle to pretty much saturate all the weed and get it frozen. If you watch on the glass uh, bottle here, it will start to freeze up here in a minute. Hopefully you guys can see that being forced out down into the glass dish. Betty Crocker. See how brown that is? That's good. cold any kind of a long video I might have to cut it make it into two parts hopefully not maybe even three I got my hot plate there set to about a hundred degrees Makes pretty good dabs. Longest part of this video is going to be evaporating it. Not exactly sure how long it takes, but we will find out during this video. See the glass tubes freezing up, getting nice and frozen. That's my rooster Bruno. A little tired holding your arm there. They do have little kits out there you can buy. I'm not rich, so muscle through it. And after that, pull that off. Get wet. So we're 
lips don't stick to it and blow on it. that people as you can see that bitch cold and frosty okay now you grab this puppy put it up here on your hot plate and then take your screen cover it and let her go Try to get it in somewhat. Of course, here's my degassing unit. This is the pump. The chamber. Just put that. Put your paper in there and your stuff in there. And then vacuum pump her out. Bring her down under vacuum, and away you go. I put a screen on there so stuff can't get in there. But there's what it looks like as it evaporates. getting a good shot of it. So you go ahead and just evaporate it like this. You just let it slowly get down. Turns out to be some pretty good stuff, I gotta say. One thing I can tell you is don't use cheap propane or butane. Get the cleanest, purest shit you can get, makes a big difference. that heat up just a touch. We weren't going too much. Just enough. Because the less heat, the better the, the turps taste. Definitely 100%. I'm not a pro, so any comments or tips, I'll take them into consideration. I don't know if you guys can see that stuff right there floating around on top. I don't know what it is, but it forms every time, and then it disappears. You blow on it, and the uh, bubbles go away. See that? But if you can see, there's little stuff floating around on there. I don't know what that is, but yeah, that right there. 
that it forms in there every time and then once it gets down to its liquid state it just disappears if anybody knows what that is and can tell me I'm very thankful good medicine I'll tell you that right now this is the way I ingest my medicine and dab sporn because it tastes less like weed I can freeze it and just pop it in my mouth like a pill goes right down I never taste it nothing works really good for edible instead of buying it baking it and all that stuff and paying all that extra money and just take a little gram Throw it in the freezer, freeze it up, you know, maybe take two pills and form, and, you know, just roll them up in a little pill form and eat them. They go down real quick, take a little glass of water. Because I hate eating brownies and cookies. I love going to sleep on my stuff, but I hate, you know, on my meds, but I hate eating them in a cookie form and paying all that money to get a cookie. That's so all about economics right here. Ten times cheaper to do it this way than to go out and buy it. I ain't worried about regulations. It's all my stuff. I know it's good. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. I know my weed's not moldy. I know my shit's good. Period. I don't need nobody telling me, oh, yeah, your stuff's okay. Because I know if I want to smoke quality shit, I will. If I don't, I won't because I don't. A lot of people try to sell their moldy weed and dabs and it really shows in their dabs when they got mold and shit like that in it. It's just nasty. Still going. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, and I put my parchment paper and stuff on there so when I dump this in there it still evaporates, still hot, still evaporates off and everything. And to get quality dabs, you have to start out with quality product. Take that to the bank.
after it gets down to this one level, it starts getting into like this rhythm pulse of evaporating. It's pretty wild. I hope it shows it when it does it. Mesmerizing, ain't it? <laughs> oh, crap, my chickens are out. Hey, the fence is over here, knocked all down, and the chickens are out. Right here's a bunch. Chickens are out. Running around, hi Lucky. Everybody say hi to Lucky the meat chicken. Hello, oh, hi. Calling that because he's lucky he didn't turn out to be a meat chicken. Ate his ass. How oh, lucky. Just turned out to be a regular chicken with a group of meat chickens, didn't you? And you out of 25, you're the only one that made it. Didn't make it to freezer camp, did you? Getting down there now. What? How many did you count over here? Because there was four chickens over here. You better get a bag and recount them all. I don't. You better recount them all. Bags in the house. Okay. It's easier to get them all out in the yard.
probably will do this in two parts here in a minute. When I get this down, dump it into the bowl, I'll probably cut and go to another video so it doesn't take hours and hours to download. go I just leave that in there for the next round okay and I'll let it stick in a little bit in there a little bit more and I do that and I stuff a thing in there so it'll all stay in one area so it doesn't run out flat so stick that on there and I'll be back in a few to show you the rest <laughs> 